55 page because obviously I was not there. In Christ
tonight. Thank you so much. Still in First John, if you were wondering. I told you y'all have a pastor before I got through this right here. So we're going to begin. Well, I'm going to go back a little piece from where I began last week. But when you write a letter, everything ties together, does it not? I mean, you don't piece it out. You don't write it in chapter and verse and everything like that right there. And you don't necessarily all of a sudden change themes in the thing, okay? Well, Bible writers didn't do that either. Now, sometimes if you read Paul's letters, then most of Paul's letters, the very first half of them are going to deal with um, doctrine, okay? Baptist doctrine, because I think he was a Baptist, okay? But no, I take that back. But he's going to deal with doctrine. The last half of his letters, or at least at least the last two chapters, that most of his letters is going to deal with, okay, now, here's doctrine, what are you going to do with it, okay? And that, and that, you know, sometimes we love to study, I, I love to study doctrine. I mean, I really do. I, I love to get in, I'm, Brother David and I were talking last week, that I'm not a reader, never have been a reader, didn't grow up a reader, but I love to do the research, if that makes sense, okay? I love to do little short snippets of the research that gets into that right there, uh, in that, and, and I do that, and that is there. When John writes this letter, then John is writing at the end of, a, uh, at the, end of the century. The church has been in existence now for 60 years, say, okay? Somewhere around that period of time. And uh, like everything, I told you last week or sometime or another that if anything is going on at all to recognize and glorify God, Satan is going to do his dead level best to destroy that work. It don't make a difference what church you're in. It don't make any difference if you're in uh, uh, First Baptist of uh, Dallas, Texas, okay? I mean, that's going to happen. Or whether you're in, in Hug or whether you're in a church that's got two people in it, it doesn't make any difference. If there's something that's going to begin to happen in that church, Satan is going to do his dead level best to destroy that. Well, John, at this point right here, is at the stage to where Satan is really beginning to work in the church to draw people away from who Jesus Christ really is. And more than anything else, uh, people literally allowing Jesus Christ to be Lord of their life. Okay? In that. And uh, y'all hear me quote Adrian Rogers a whole lot. And, and I, I love to listen to Adrian Rogers preach. He, he always kept it simple for us simple minded people in that. Uh, but he, he always made the statement. He said, salvation is not like a cafeteria line, okay? He said, you don't go through and say, okay, today I want salvation, but just leave the other stuff off, okay? Uh, in that, he said, no, when you get salvation, you get all of Christ, and you get, and, and when you get salvation, or when you accept Christ as your Savior, then you're also accepting him as Lord of your life, not just Savior of your life, but Lord of your life. 
And at this point right here, there was people that was literally teaching, and there was a group of people called the Gnostics, and I may be mispronouncing that, whatever. But they, they were teaching that the body and the soul is completely different. That you could do anything you wanted to in the body, and it didn't affect your relationship with Jesus Christ. And you could do anything that you wanted to do, and that had nothing to do with your soul and that. And that's kind of what John was really battling at the, at the turn of the century that was here. So he begins tonight, and I'm going to go back to, to start with, um, well, I won't go back, uh, uh, well, let's just go back to 15, and then I'll skip uh, uh, 16 and go on down. He said, 